Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get your drum kits into FL Studio and get them all organized and nice up on the left hand side like this. And I'm going to be showing you two different ways to actually set this up. So let's get into it. I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at YouTube marketing, online business and music production. Now, let's get straight into this because this is something that I needed to figure out. What I was doing before is just dragging my drum kits from wherever they were into FL Studio. And that is something that you can do. Like, I'll show you that now. Let's just drag this in here. And as you can see, we dragged a drum kit in here, but it, okay, now it, that ain't working anymore because we've already set this up. So now it just, it recognizes where our drum kits are coming from. But I, if I find a drum kit over here and I drag that in, as you can see, it just drags it wherever it wants to. And I dragged in a few drum kits and they just weren't where I wanted them to be. And I was trying to delete them and all that sort of stuff. And I just couldn't find out how to do it. And then I did some research, I tried some things out, and now I know exactly how to do it, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first of all, in order to get your drum kits in there, you can just drag them in, but I highly suggest that you don't do that. There are a few different ways, and let's go with the first one. This is the most straightforward one, I believe, but the second version is much better in my opinion. But let's go with the, the first one because it's just dragging and dropping and that will be easier for some people. So let's go to, uh, let's bring up our file explorer. Basically, you need to go to your local disk or wherever you've installed FL Studio. And then you either go to program files if you're on, I think it's 32 bit. And if you're on 64 bit, you go to program files x86. I'm on 64 bit, I believe. So we'll go to program files and then we need to go to image line. So if you don't see it in here, then go to program files over here and then you'll either see image line in here or you'll see image line in the other program files. Whichever one you see it in, that's the correct one. Go through that. So here we're going to go into image line and then you go to FL Studio and then you go to data and then you go to patches. And at this point, now I can actually create new folders that will actually show up here. So if I create a new folder and I name it test folder, as you can see, it shows up right here. I, I'm unsure if I can like move this and make it show up elsewhere, but there's the test folder in it. It's on the left hand side, it's ready to go. So that's how you can set up your drum kits over here. In order to actually get your drum kits, all you do is like just drag them over into this data folder right about now. And then you could just put a bunch of drum kits in one folder like I did here and then drag that folder over there. And then what you'll get is a nice organized amount of drum kits and then you'll be able to just open up your big drum kit folder and go into the individual drum kits throughout this folder. I got a bunch of free drum kits from like Reddit recently, by the way, that's where I got all these drum kits from. So, so you know, it. so you know. So let's get into the second method. I showed you how to drag it in, like drag your drum kits into free loops. I showed you how to drag, drag them into the correct folder that brings them into the free loops ecosystem and now I'm going to show you the best way, basically, that gives you way more control and you can actually bring drum kits from your external hard drive into Fruity Loop so you don't have to copy it over into like the C drive if maybe you're keeping that for other stuff. Like I, I have all my music stuff and generally just all my stuff on the external hard drive because, you know, my, my computer memory isn't, isn't that great, in it? So let me show you the second method. We need to go to options. Then we need to go to file settings. And then here is where we are. Now, if we want to basically get rid of a drum kit that we flung in earlier, like this drum kit that I got from, uh, I think Lifestyle did it. He's, he's, he's on YouTube as well. You should check out his channel. Um, we could just right click this and then cut this or we can clear it basically. And that will just delete it so it's no longer on the the left hand side but i think because we cut it it's actually not going to go anywhere because we kind of needed to delete it <laughs> no it went so when you when you click out of the file settings that's when your changes are applied so basically 
here we can just click this folder and then we can navigate to where our drum kit is or where our folder of drum kits are like my external folder of drum kits that's why i put an x on it so that i know this is the external drum kits and as you can see we can see all the the drum kits there now we've got that there twice and if we want to get rid of that we'll just clear it and if we wanted to add a single drum kit then we can just navigate to that specific drum kit as i showed you before and then we can click ok and then that will be added as well but i personally suggest that you put your drum kits in a folder called drum kit and you just continually add your drum kits to that folder maybe you make different names or different folders for different artists so that you know okay this is a, a folder of five drum kits from this artist or this producer or whatever so it's easier to organize that's a bit of hierarchy than just having a bunch of drum kits on the left hand side because then it's harder to find what you're actually looking for so that is the way i'd suggest going about it you have your overall drum kit folder in that drum kit folder you have the artist or producer names of the people who are providing the drum kits and then in those folders you have all the different drum kits and then it will it will work very very nice for you your workflow will be way smoother so right about now i'm gonna get rid of this drum kit because i'm just gonna put this in my external drum kits and i'm also going to get rid of that and we're going to get rid of this drum kit as well but i'm going to do that off video because there's no point wasting your time showing you that that is how you get your drum kits into fl studio and get them organized i hope that this video has helped you out because i really needed this a few minutes ago so now i hope that i've passed this knowledge on to you and, and helped get you you know save you some time so that you can get back into production i will be leaving a link to all the software and equipment that i use in the description down below so definitely go and check that out if you haven't got fl studio that will be linked in the description as well however if you want to sign up to my daily email list where you can be updated on my musical journey my entrepreneurial journey my business journey all that sort of stuff my creative journey basically and you also get access to my free course where you'll learn the five most important steps to youtube success then click on the link in the cards the description the pinned comment or go to grow on youtube.com forward slash free course it will also be on the end screen as well that course will help you learn how to promote your music and actually make a living off youtube basically it'll kind of open your mind to how you can make a living off youtube without getting millions of views like what most people try to do so if that's something interesting to you go check out that course but remember if you sign up for that course you also get access to my daily emails where i'm sharing all my my insights my gems all the things that i'm learning the things that i already know that i'm just helping people out with like marketing and, and youtube stuff so if that sounds interesting to you definitely go sign up and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about youtube marketing online business and music production peace out